Hey guys, another video for our Crime and Emergency Services in Japan playlist. We often get comments from people who have watched our videos and then comment that it's amazing that they don't see any graffiti and how graffiti free Japan seems to be. You know, the trains and the buses and the businesses and the walls and everywhere that we go, it's very rare to see graffiti. And that is true, but graffiti does exist. So. Admittedly, it did take a while to find this. This is actually a shut-down garage that's being demolished. And since they shut it down, a bit of graffiti has appeared on it. So, there is graffiti, and particularly if you go to the really big cities, you sometimes see graffiti around under train lines and things like that. But I guess the reason people comment on it is compared to a lot of other countries around the world, it is rare here. And it's almost like... The guys that do it here are sort of considerate where they do it. <laughs> so you don't usually see it on trains. You don't usually see it sort of on things that people own. So here's another uh, gas station that's being closed down that there's graffiti on as well. So it's almost like they choose places that they, they think are acceptable to put graffiti on. Almost. Not always the case, of course. And here's a couple of shutdown garages or uh, buildings, a couple of buildings that aren't used next to a railway line and a couple of bits appeared on this. So yeah, if you go to Tokyo or you go to Osaka or you go to some of the big cities, you'll see it around the railway lines and on walls and so on, but it just seems to be less of it on people's private property or, uh, you know, you don't sort of get people carving their names in names into the seats on the trains or buses or things like that like they do in a lot of other countries so it is rarer it did take quite a few weeks to collect this little collection of graffiti for you so we're keeping an eye out for it here's a, an interesting example too here's one they put on under a bridge on a pillar but if you look at the rest of the pillars under the bridge there's no more there's just one there's just one that's put on the pillar so yeah I think you know a lot of other countries that tag would have been put on every pillar but they just put it on the one and left it at that so it's interesting isn't it here's a skate park the skate park's in the middle of a big park and the rest of the park is absolutely 100% graffiti free there's no graffiti anywhere else only around the skate area of this big park which is interesting so it's a big sports center so the rest of it absolute rest of it there's absolutely zero graffiti only here in the in the skate park have they put some graffiti and of course you'll see there's some English there and that is something that you notice quite often when you do see graffiti quite often not always but quite often there's English involved or Spanish sometimes Spanish is involved so doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's foreigners doing it but that's just an observation so so yeah, it does exist. Graffiti in Japan does exist. There it was. But much less than a lot of other countries would suggest. Pretty rare to see it. So, But anyway, there it was. More videos coming soon.